Hi everybody, it's Tammy and I wanted to give a brief, hopefully brief, tutorial on setting up a Remind texting account. Now the Remind app is a great application to open up the communication between you and your students and vice versa. Um, I've also had parents that have used it before. If they want to kind of be in the loop and know what's going on, they've signed up for my Remind classroom as well. But um, Remind is a, just a texting application that sends text um, to all of your students at the same time, or you can send a, a, just one particular student a text, and it doesn't show your personal phone number. It just says it's coming from your, whatever the name of your classroom is. So it's coming from Remind. They kind of handle all the texting, um, but it goes out to all of their phones. So let's talk about signing up first. And um, when you go to remind.com, um, you can see a little tutorial video or just a quick demonstration video of how it works. It kind of goes really fast. Not sure how valuable, but um, I want to walk you through logging in or signing up. So if you haven't signed up before, this is where you will do it just right here. Sign up. Um, at this point, I would say go ahead and sign up with your Google account. Um, there are so many applications out there that work with Google really well, so it keeps you from having to remember so many usernames and passwords. So use your Google account, your school Google account, whenever you can, and it, it saves you that headache. All right, when you do sign up, I can't do that right now because I've already set up my account, but when you do sign up, um, I believe you choose if you're an educator, and then you can choose your district and your school even. And if your school's not there, you might have an opportunity to add that. So you set up your account. It will ask you for your class name. Um, so make your, um, make your class something that's easily identifiable. Um, if you have different preps, then you can um, set up different classes. So just set up one class at a time and I'll show you how to create another class later. Um, so set up your name of your account. I think um, Whitaker's Math is what I had set up um, when I was teaching math. Um, and then right under your name will be the code that it will assign automatically. Now it's made up of letters and numbers and um, you may not want something like that. So you do have an opportunity to change it. I think it has to be 10 characters or less. Um, but if you come up with something like um, you could put uh, WPHS um, math or you can put your name math, something that's easy. I had Wits math. Um, I couldn't do Whitaker's math because it was too long. So I shortened it and made Wits math and it was available. And that's the other key. So you just try different things and if it's available, it will let you have that for your remind code. And then um, you set up your account. And so when you sign, uh, when you set up your account, let me go ahead and log into my account. Then I can show you once you have established your account. I'm going to log in with my Google account. Okay, so this is the dashboard of what you would look um, see when you logged into your account. Um, you all, there's also Remind apps for the phone and you can download that so you're able to do the same thing that you would do here on a desktop or a, a laptop. So I have created um, this class, Word, Whitaker's World of Tech, and I was able to change the code to Wits World. Um, I tried different things that didn't work and wasn't available until I found one that was available. Is it ideal? No, but um, it works for what I need it to do. Okay, so this is your main screen. Now I'm in the, there's two main tabs here. You see I'm in the people tab. And so this is where you would have the list of all of your students um, and the date that they joined. Um, any family members, um, you can, they can add um, parents to, I've had parents want to sign up for my Remind classroom. So um, sometimes they're able to put in the family members, they're able to put the name of their student. Um, you will also be able to have different actions here. You can um, think what I've seen. You can view their profile, block them, report to remind. You probably, hopefully, would never have to do that. But also, you would have the opportunity to delete on this page as well if you wanted to delete a specific account. It's also if you wanted to message just one single student instead of the entire class, you would just go to the people, find that student, 
and click on them and send them a message. So that's really nice to be able just to send a message to one of your students. So if you go to messages, this is where all of your class messages will show up and even some um, personal messages. And I'll speak to that in just a second. Um, so here's where you would type in your message. Um, and it just kind of gives you a starter message, your first message to start out. You'll notice the little number right over here. Um, that means you have a limit of 140 characters, similar to, way, to the way uh, Twitter used to be. Um, so you have 140 characters. You don't want to send really long text um, to students' phones. So if you have something that's really long, you may want to consider some other vehicle like Google Classroom or um, announcement or, or something like that, but you don't want to really send long text. So um, keep it short. And you can also, if you'll notice over here on the right, you're able to upload files or photos, or videos, something from Google Drive, something from Classroom. You're able to um, do that. I used to make some cute bitmojis and, and I would use Remind sometimes just to uh, encourage and, and support. It's like, do great at the football game tonight or, you know, go Tigers, just whatever you want to do. And I'd have a cute little bit emoji and it just, it's opens the lines of communication, but it also kind of bonds and kind of speaks their language as well. Um, so this is, this is, again, you can get rid of, of this message and then start typing your, your first message. Um, you can also schedule the message to go out at a later time, or you can just hit send and it would send it immediately. So that's how you would send messages. I'm going to discard because I'm not going to send the message. Um, over here on this page, you can um, also create more classes. So if you do have multiple preps, you want to have different um, remind classrooms for different preps because obviously they're going to be doing different things. So that's where you would create new classes. Um, as far as adding students to your classroom, it says add people over here and it takes you to that ability to be able to add them um, by email address or phone number. But I will tell you, I've never used that method before. Um, these are just so many different ways that you can add people to your class. They do have these printable PDFs. If you choose that selection and then download the PDF it, and you're signed into your account, that it will provide this PDF with these demonstrations that you can hand out to your students and it will have your information already populated there. But I will tell you this way, the in-person instructions is the way that I've always used. It makes it very simple. I'll just say students get your phones out on the first day of school. Um, what you need to do is go to your texting. You need to type in the number 81010. Um, it's always 81010 for any Remind classroom. It's 81010 and then put in your remind handle that you created. So in my case, it's at wits world and at the at symbol is very important. They can't just put in wits world. They had to put in at wits world for it to work. They should get some kind of confirmation back saying that they've been um, included into the classroom. And so, and then they will, once they um, get into your or signed up, they'll be showing up on this page right here. And so you will be able to see who all is receiving your messages. Uh, let's see, you can go to the settings over here with it, with a gear, where the gear is. Um, you can change your name at any time and here's the class code. Um, I'm not affiliated with the school because I'm at the admin building. You can, um, this is just your, your classroom settings. I don't know why you would ever need to go there once you get established. So the main thing you need to know is the messages tab. This is where you send your messages out and where you're going to see your conversations here on the left. I just don't have any right now. And then your people. This is where all your students are going to be. And if you just need to, like I said, if you need to send to one, then you would just choose that one and start a conversation with that one. And again, they don't see your number. They just see Miss Whitaker's classroom. Um, another great thing that Remind does is um, you are able to send out messages to all of your students at the same time. But another big benefit is when the students need to reply back to you. Now, when I have a student that I send a message out that says, okay, don't forget your homework tonight. And then I have a student who's at home working on their homework <laughs> and they um, struggle a little bit with number three. So they are able to reply to the text, the remind text that you send, and they can reply to it 
and say, Ms. Whitaker, I'm struggling with number three. Is there any help you can give me or any guidance or direction or whatever? Well, once that student has replied back to you, then that only comes to you. It doesn't go to the whole class and it becomes a separate conversation between you and that one student and vice versa. And so it just kind of opens up a new dialogue and you are able to go back and forth um, personally and it's not you in the class. Um, so that's really beneficial. It just it makes it so easy for the students to get the help that they need and the support that they need if they need to contact you for something. They're absent and they don't want to get behind. Miss Whitaker, I'm absent today, but I don't want to get behind. What are we doing in class? And I can just reply back to them. Um, so Remind is very versatile, flexible, um, an easy way to communicate. Um, I think I covered everything. If you do have any questions, um, please don't hesitate to let me know and I will do my best. Have a great day.